Hello, today we're looking at Manjaro 17.0.2. I'm looking at the GNOME edition in this video, but there's also a KDE edition that comes out with KDE Plasma 5.10, and this is also GNOME 3.24.2. So it's the latest of it of the desktop environments, which is awesome. As you can see, when we are opening up for the first time, or if you don't untick this box every time, you are greeted with the Manjaro Welcome app, Hello app, and it's a very good app. I like it. It's not my favorite Welcome app, but it's very responsive, like you can switch languages like 1 to 3, and what I like about Welcome apps is, I like it, it gives us information, not too much, but just a good place to start. And I like it when you just click on the app and it opens up inside the app all the information. And of course, there can be links to other places. And this is, this welcome app, hello app, is a combination of the two. Like the wiki takes you to the internet, all these take you to the internet. So basically just two or three of them actually opens up inside the app. But, that's just my liking, it's not a biggie. And yes, links to all the Facebook pages and social pages of Manjaro. And if you close this, if you want a proper look at everything, please look in the description of this video. You will find a link to my other video on my other channel, where I just use background music, but I click on every single thing. So this is just a run through my thoughts, and what I like about it. So yeah. So if we left click on the desktop, left click, then you can see change background. One awesome thing about Manjaro, and this is a, they're always awesome, is they have so many, many awesome wallpapers to choose from. Just look at the star. Isn't this beautiful? As you can see GNOME, and look at this wooden one, isn't this absolutely stunning? Love it. And of course, the ears all the same ones. But let's take this one. And here you can also put your picture, any color, things like that. So, yeah. So, if you left click again, you can see display settings, where you will add a projector or more than one monitor and the nightlight mode which like if you click on display you can as you can see the nightlight is turned on by default which is not the norm that is quite cool because the nightlight mode basically in the evening just before you go to sleep and if you're using it it adapts the colors to make your eyes rest a bit this is quite cool and here you can set it also manually or automatically. All the settings pretty much the same as expected for GNOME. Nothing weird, nothing strange. The details are... I'm running this in Wittlebox with 2 gigabytes of RAM and i5 processor, one core. And it is GNOME 3.24.2, the latest, the greatest. And it's truly a great release, and yeah, so a kernel 4.9. And if we go to the top panel now, you can see the familiar GNOME stuff which we all expect, and many of us love. It's the system settings, lock screen, turn off. Yes, the calendar and notifications will appear here. If you left click on the top panel, nothing happens, it's expected. And if you click on this menu, it gives you a menu like this. Which is not the default for GNOME, which like takes the whole screen and you can choose your favorites and all those things. But if you click on any of these, it will take you to, to your file system as this, this files. 3.24.1 
So any one of these click and web marks it is give desktops and these are the apps stuffed in here which is quite cool, very easy to understand. I like it very much. And here you can use different versions. Layouts, search, reboot, suspend, shutdown, lock out, and lock screen. And use your preferences. And here you can modify it like a machine to make it look beautiful. Let's close this all up. As you can see, the panel which is normally inside the menu is is on the screen and it looks very cool, very familiar. And here's a tweak tool by default. You can take screenshots. You can also remove things from the favorites bar. It must be yes, our oh, software center. Backpack. Here's a terminal, here's a text editor. Let's see if LiveRoop is installed. No, but you can install it easily. I'm gonna... So you could pack Mac as your software center on GNOME software is not here. This isn't an interesting move, but it's quite a good move. And if you click here, this is a familiar GNOME look. Frequent and favorites and everything and our terminal says we are using about 700 megabytes of RAM just from idling doing nothing and that's really good so in general yeah I like it it's very smooth it's very beautiful they've changed it enough to make it feels like this is their system but also it's so gnomey and it might just be the combination which you are looking for. And the tiling works just fine. As you can see. Yeah, this is that. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.